full equilibrium can also be used to determine whether a precipitation will take place or not. If the ions x plus and y minus interact to form a solid xy, once the solid has been formed, the reverse reaction can take place, just like in the other equilibria. The solid can revert back into ions, like in this example here. It's a dynamic process. Things are constantly going into ions and then being precipitated back out. And to determine whether something will precipitate or not, that is where the solubility constant comes in. And this is easiest explained by using the Q examples, where before we use Q examples to determine which direction an equilibrium was heading in, it's the same thing for this. What we can do is get the concentrations of X plus and Y minus and multiply them together and figure out what the Q value is. Once I have the Q value, if the Q value is greater than the solubility constant, then precipitation will take place. If it's less, then it will just be dissolved. But once I can, once I figure out if a precipitation is taking place or not, then it just becomes a normal equilibrium problem find out what the limiting reactant is, figure how much solid is formed, then take that solid and have it go to equilibrium. And then I can find out whatever concentration I'm looking for there.